Dr. and Nurse, well, they know what to do. They do. They'll always take good care of you. So be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. I'm Dr. Ranj. Welcome to our very special hospital just for children. Come on, I'll show you around. Lots of clever people like doctors and nurses work here. And they're specially trained to care for children, just like you. You may come here because you're not feeling well or you need to have a test or an operation. Hello. Hello, Dr. But don't worry, whatever you're here for, there'll be someone like me to check that you're healthy or to help you get well soon. This is my floor. I'd better get to work. Hello. I'm in the Accident and Emergency Department, or A&E. This is where we treat people who've hurt themselves. I have a patient coming to see me today. I wonder who it will be. Who's come to visit me? Who will it be? Can you guess which friend it is? Let's see. I know who that is. It's Jovi. Joby, come and sit down. Oh, hello, Dr. Rand. Look, I made a space alien. <laughs> That's great. But what have you done to your head? Oh, I cut it. It bleeded and everything. <laughs> oh, dear. How did you do that? Well, I was running away from a giant moon worm and a silly door bumped into my head. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Sounds like you might need to be more careful running around indoors. I know. Running into doors is definitely a bad idea. Oh, and it really hurt, Dr Ranj. Mm. I'm not surprised. Sounds like a silly door, hey? Mm. I suppose it was silly me, really. <laughs> You're not silly, Joby. You just need to be more careful. Oh, OK. Then maybe you won't bump into things and you won't have to come and see me again. OK, Dr Rand. I'll be careful. Promise. Now, I need to see where you've hurt your head, so I'm going to have to remove that dressing. Oh, will you be careful, Dr Ranj? I'll be careful, Joby. Don't worry. Mm. I just need to take a closer look. Oh, there was a lot of blood. That's because when you bumped your head, your skin split open a little bit. Do I need a new head, Dr Ranj? No, Toby, you don't. Oh. The rest of your head is perfectly fine. Ah, oh, phew, because I like my head. <laughs> and we can make that cut on your head better quite easily. Really? It still stings a bit. <laughs> well, when we've joined the skin back together again, it will start to feel much better. Oh, good. <laughs> um, Dr Range? Yes, Joby? When you sew up my head, can you sew up my T-shirt at the same time, please? <laughs> no, I'm not going to sew up your head, Joby. Mm. But my friend said I might need stitches. Well, sometimes, if a cut or wound is very deep, we do need to mend it using special hospital stitches. But I'm not going to do that this time. Um, what are you going to use, then? Oh, do you use sticky tape? No, I'm not going to use sticky tape either. I'm going to use some glue. G glue? Really? Yes, Joby. Cool. Oh, can I do it? Sorry, only a doctor or nurse can use this glue. Oh, but I love sticking things together with glue. That's how I made my space alien. I know, and that's great, but the glue I'm going to use is very different, so you must never try to do this to yourself. <sighs> All right, then. I'm going to use a special hospital glue that will help put your skin back together like 
two slices of bread in a jam sandwich. Oh, yum! I love jam sandwiches, Dr Range. Me too. <laughs> oh, but I can't eat it, can I? No, Joby, and you mustn't touch the glue either. We don't want your finger getting stuck to your head now, do we? <laughs> no, Dr Range, that would be silly. <laughs> So, I'll need to clean the wound first, then I'll glue the skin together and then you can go. Clean and glue and go. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Clean and glue and go. Easy. So first... Clean it. That's right. <laughs> OK. Nearly over. There. Well done. Have you glued it back together now then, Dr Range? I've just finished cleaning it, so now I can apply the glue. You'll need to keep still for this bit. Oh, I'm really good at keeping still. <laughs> Watch this, I'm like a statue. <gasps> That's great, Joby, but you can relax and keep still. <sighs> oh, <laughs> OK. <laughs> That's better. I'm going to apply the glue now. Mm -hmm. Let's put glue here. Mm -hmm. Just keep still a little bit longer. There. All done. Ah, oh, that was quick and it didn't hurt. Good. Um, is it stuck now, Dr Ange? Yes, and remember not to touch it. OK, I'll remember. Oh, but will the glue be there forever? The glue is only there to keep it joined together while your skin mends itself. Wow! My skin must be very clever to mend itself. Our bodies are very clever things. Yeah, but how will I know when my skin is mended? After a while, the glue will dry up and then later it will form a scab and then eventually the scab will fall off. Oh, when the scab falls off, will I have a scar? Yes, Joby, it might leave a small scar. <laughs> oh, cool. My scar will show everyone that I, Joby, bravely battled with a... a, a silly door. <laughs> <laughs> You'll need to keep it nice and dry, though, so no showers for a while and no swimming. OK, but when it's all better again, will I still be able to run and jump and do stuff like that? Yes, Joby. You'll be able to do everything that you used to, but just try to be more careful. I will. It may be just a cut, but every cut needs healing. You need a little help to stop the painful feeling. Yeah. From this day on, you won't forget the day that I helped you. <laughs> Heal the hurt and ease your pain with just a tube of glue. Let's wipe that wound and clean it. You know I truly mean it. I say I want your hurt to end. You know that deep down I truly mean it. Clean your wound and seal it. Get you up and on the mend. Let's see this to the end, though you might bear the scar. Ditch the stitch and surgery, no need to go that far. Ooh. From this day on, you won't forget the day that I helped you. <laughs> Heal the hurt and ease your pain with just a tube of glue. Let's wipe that wound and clean it. You know I truly mean it. I say I want your hurt to end. You know that deep down I truly mean it. Clean your wound and seal it. Get Wound and clean it, you know I truly mean it I say I want your hurt to end You know that deep down I truly mean it Clean your wound and seal it Get you up and on the mend On the mend <sighs> Well, I think we're finished then And after all that sticking You deserve a sticker <laughs> A sticky sticker for sticking there you go. Oh, thanks, Dr Ranch. Now I need to go and do some gluing too. Really? Why? My space alien! Look! His leg has fallen off! <laughs> oh, dear! Oh, don't worry, I can stick him back together again with glue too. <laughs> Goodbye, Dr Ranch. Goodbye, Dr Ranch. <laughs> Bye, JB. It's time for me and everyone here at the Children's Hospital to say goodbye now. Thanks for coming to see us. See you next time. But until then, be happy, be healthy, and get well soon! Soon.
to end this. Well, they know what to do. They do. They'll always take good care of you. So be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. Be happy, be healthy, and get I'm Dr. Ange. Welcome to our very special hospital just for children. Come on, I'll show you around. Lots of clever people like doctors and nurses work here. And they're specially trained to care for children, just like you. You may come here because you're not feeling well or you need to have a test or an operation. Hello. Hello, Dr. Wang. But don't worry, whatever you're here for, there'll be someone like me to check that you're healthy or to help you get well soon. This is my floor. I'd better get to work. Hello. I'm in the orthotics department. This is where we see children who have problems with their feet, limbs or spine. I've got a patient coming to see me today. I wonder who it will be. Who's come to visit me? Who will it be? Can you guess which friend it is? Let's see. I know who that is. It's... Petal! With buttons and bangles, the jangle as I hop. When I'm having so much fun, it's hard for me to stop Twirling, twisting when I'm singing any song I choose Twirling, twisting, skating, skipping in my dancing shoes Twirling, twisting when I'm singing any song I choose Twirling, twisting, skating, skipping in my dancing shoes Twirling, twisting, skating, skipping in my dancing shoes Woo! Hello, Petal. <laughs> Come and sit down. Dr. Ranch. <laughs> da, da, da. Nice moves, Petal. Oh, thanks. I made them up myself. Ooh, and I like your new shoes too. Oh, so do I. My old ones wore out so quickly. I hope these don't, because they're my favourite shoes ever. They're just the best. <laughs> do you know why you've come to see me today, Petal? Mm, my feet hurt sometimes, Dr. Ranch. I hope there's nothing wrong with them. <sighs> Do your feet hurt when you're wearing other shoes or if you walk in bare feet? Yes, and sometimes my feet hurt when I dance, but I never want to stop dancing. Mm. <laughs> oh. oh! I think the problem might be your feet petal, not your new shoes. Shall we have a look? Oh, do I have to take off my new shoes, Dr Ange? Yes, please, but don't worry, I'll look after them. Oh. My feet are so ticklish, Dr Ange. No tickling. Don't worry, Petal. I just need to have a good look at your feet. <laughs> it tickles. Almost done. Can you stand up for me as well? Uh, are my feet OK, Dr Ange? I think I know what the problem is, Petal. Really? You have something we call flat feet. Flat feet? That's it. Huh? My lovely feet. Flattened. How did that happen? <laughs> Don't worry, Petal. No one's flattened your feet. Flat feet just means that the bottoms of your feet are flat. Flat bottoms? When you put your feet down, the whole of the bottom of your foot, not just part of it, presses flat on the ground. Don't everyone's feet do that? No, most people's feet don't press flat on the ground. Oh, but they don't float in the air. I know, but usually, as feet grow, the bottom of the foot becomes raised up a little in the middle. That's called an arch. 